Hello everyone, FedEx Game here and welcome back to my how to build series where I show you how to build things inside of Minecraft and in today's video I'm going to show you how to build, well, my house inside of Minecraft. This is my actual real life house. This is exactly what it looks like. Now if you'd like to see a little bit more of an in-depth video before jumping into this tutorial, I have a link to it in the description below. We're going to run through this thing as quick as possible because this tutorial is probably going to take up some time. So let's go ahead and run through the house really fast. So of course here comes the front door. Then we walk into my living room right here. And then over to the right hand side of the living room is going to be my kitchen, my kitchen eating area. And this is supposed to be my dining room area, but I got rid of my dining room table because I barely ever eat at a dining room table there was no reason for it if I ever went you know for a holiday or something like that I would go to someone else's house and not have holidays here then over here is the guest bathroom over here to the right is the laundry room and then we have the garage area right here and then here is the first guest bedroom it yes these rooms are actually this small my my rooms in my house are small except for the master bedroom now over here is my room where i make all of my youtube videos now it's not well actually yeah it's it's pretty small <laughs> it might be this small but you know when working with minecraft's big blocks it makes it look a lot smaller so here is my room let's go ahead and leave this area then we're gonna go work our way over to the back patio area where the pool is and my pool doesn't look like this right now because it's completely broken and there's frogs living in the bottom of my pool because <laughs> I have a broken pool that has no water in it I really need to get that thing fixed and over here is the master bedroom here is the master bedroom and then there is a walk-in closet for the master bedroom like I said the master bedroom is probably two or three times bigger than both of the other rooms combined and then over here is of course the master bathroom so I'm gonna go quickly fly above the house and then we're just gonna jump in the tutorial like I said I'll have a link to a video in the description below if you want to check out that one that video is already almost at a million views used it's insane how many people wanted to see what my real life house looked like inside of minecraft so here's the front here is the back with the pool with the screened in pool then over here is the side this is where my room is right there and then there's the guest room over there as well and that's just the ac unit so let's go ahead and start building this thing guys all right guys so before i give you a little overhead view of the house because as you can see there's a bunch of lines over there, that's for all the walls i'm going to tell you how far away it is from the road just in case you want to build the yard i might not build it i'm probably not going to build it but if i at the end i might just fly around the yard so you can see where everything is it's not very hard to do but it's exactly 40 blocks from the road to the front door so when, if you count from the road so one block on the road and then you count 39 more blocks from there so 40 in total it should end up right at the front door so just giving you a heads up from the road to the house is exactly 40 blocks to the front door which should be right here so now we're going to go ahead and get a little overhead view of it i'm not going to tell you what every single walling is but if you are building this thing i highly recommend maybe pausing the video here and just digging out this area will help out a lot you can easily see it i know the back patio is not there i know it's not there i'm going to be doing the video it's just i wanted to get as close as possible so you could see every single block now the top left as you can see there's two black blocks i couldn't do nothing about that that's how it lined up but you can easily see that there's two blocks there so go ahead pause the video here will help you in the long run and then we're going to start up on the build all right guys so i'm going to be starting off by the garage area for my build you're going to need to start off with magenta stained clay and purple stained clay as well now over here down by the garage it should be exactly 12 blocks long right here in front of the garage so we're going to take out our magenta stained clay and we're going to place down 12 blocks going that way now i'm going to put up all the walls around it and then we'll dig out you know the garage we'll dig out the door the front door and things like that i think this will just make it a lot easier so we're going to go 12 blocks that way so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and twelve as you can see it was complete total of 12 blocks then we're gonna go from this block counting the first block that we have here i'm gonna go 30 blocks down that way so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three twenty four twenty five twenty six twenty seven twenty eight twenty nine and last but not least number thirty and now from the 30th block, we're going to count that way 10 blocks counting the first block. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And as you can see, it's just a simple three blocks right here. 1, 2, 3. And then we're going to swing back in for three more blocks. 1, 2, 3. So we have 10, 3, and 3, making a total of 16. And then starting from this block, we're going to go that way six blocks. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Then counting from this one again, we're going to go that way six blocks. So 1 two three four five six and then we're gonna go that way 11 blocks 
coming out one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and number 11. Now from this block, we're gonna count that way 20 blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Then we're gonna go that way three blocks. One, two, three, come out three. One, two, three, come back in three. One, two, three, so there should be a total of nine blocks. One, two, three, out three, and then back in three. Then we're gonna go that way four blocks. So one, two, three, four, back over three blocks that way. One, two, three, out three. One, two, three, and then in seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and number seven. And now from this block, we're just gonna swing it right back into our garage. Just go bloop and swing it right back into our garage. And that's going to be the whole outside of the build. So we're gonna have 12, 30, 10, 3, 3, 6, 6, 11, 20, 3, 3, 3, 4, 3, 3, and then 7. Now we're going to go ahead and take out our purple stained clay, and we're going to go around this entire thing one more time. So just go right above all the magenta with purple stained clay. So once you got your first line of purple, now we're gonna take out our magenta one more time and we're gonna come up two blocks and go around the entire thing two more blocks this high. So as you can see, I'm coming up two blocks right here. We're gonna go around the entire thing two more times. All right guys, so now that we have the whole border of the house in, we're gonna find the peaks of the house. That's gonna be the part where the house is going up really high into the sky and then back down. So over here in the front where the garage is gonna be, we're gonna have to come up 10 blocks from the sixth block over. So come to your garage. Well, it's not here yet, but we're gonna come right here and we're gonna count over six blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And now we're gonna count up 10 blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight nine and number ten and that's going to be the peak of the garage and then we're going to come to the seventh block and place in another line right there and that's going to be the first peak of the house so if you want to really quickly you can go ahead and just do this like that and just come down in a nice line like so all the way to the bottom and that's going to be the peak for the garage we're going to do it on this side as well just bring your blocks up and just bring it down in a nice staircase motion all the way to the corner of the house so there is the garage's peak then we're going to come right over here and we're gonna come up nine blocks. So one, two, three, four, but we have to come in one, just come in one right here, and then come up nine blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and number nine. Let's go ahead and break this block right here. And this is going to be another peak of the house, so we can go ahead and just make a nice little staircase ladder of blocks coming all the way down like this. I'm gonna do the same thing on this side as well, just bring it all the way in bring it all the way in bring it all the way in and do we go i came out really far i don't know why i just did that and there we go that's going to be that front hand side of this peak all right guys so now that we have the first two front peaks done we can go ahead and do the side one that's going to be the very very big one right over here and before we go ahead and jump into this peak i want you to come to the back corner of the house and we're going to count over four blocks that way so one two three four now this is going to be part of the patio so our roof's going to be coming down into part of our patio so right over here we're just going to bring these blocks up for now like this and like that just for now there's going to be a window right here but from here we're going to count over 11 blocks that way so one two three four then we're going to hit the house five six seven eight nine ten eleven so let's count that one more time just to make sure that you got the exact spot so make sure you count eleven one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and then we're gonna go up 15 blocks from here so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen now if you need to just make sure you count again make sure you go up exactly 15 blocks so one two Oops, sorry, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Now, of course, we're gonna be doing another peak right here. So quickly just come down here and bring your blocks all the way to the top like this, going down into a staircase motion.
And now that we got this side, and we can quickly just take out our blocks and bring it all the way down to there, because this side is going to match up with the other side. As you can see right over there from where I'm building, it's going to match up perfectly with the side right over here. So all we have to do is just bring our blocks all the way down in a nice little line. And now go ahead and just bring your blocks up and match it up with this side. And then, of course, we're just going to have to build another staircase motion going downwards. All right, guys, so next up, what I want you to do is swing back over here to the front of the house. Now, right here should be your front door. We're going to come over three blocks from here. One, two, and three. And then we're going to come out three from here. One, two, and three. And right here, we're going to come up seven blocks from here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and then number seven. And then on the fifth block, I want you to swing it back into the house. So one, two, three, four, five. And we're just gonna bring out a line right here going right across swing that back into the house and go in like so and now and now we're gonna go up in a staircase motion from here seven blocks so count the first corner block one then two then three then four five six and number seven so as you can see there is starting from here at the seventh one there's one two three four five six and number seven and then we're going to come down and it should line up perfectly with this part of the roof right here so if you come right down like this it should line up perfectly with the other part of the roof like this there we go come down come down and as you can see it is perfectly lined up with this part of our roof and that is what we want and you can go ahead and fill it well we could just leave it like this for now this is just going to be a side area that you're not going to be able to see anything in here but that's just going to be part of the roof as well and then you know what you also could do you could swing these blocks back in to over here as well you could bring all these blocks in right here to the walling i don't want to do any of uh the roofs yet just because it'll make doing all these rooms a lot easier because then we'll have enough light we'll have enough light to see everything so i'm actually quickly going to go ahead and get rid of this line as well i just want to have the most amount of light as possible and then once everything is done we can go ahead and start adding in the roofs to the all right so now that we pretty much have all the outside wallings is done we can go ahead and start adding in some decorations around the outside of the house so let's go ahead and do the front door first so i'm going to be using a dark oak wood door it's just going to be two blocks in from here and then we're going to go ahead and place in a slab with our door like this then coming one block above the door we're going to take out some stained glass panes and we're going to come right up here i'm using white stained glass panes and we're come one block above the door we're going to place in a stained glass pane here and one right above it as well don't worry we'll hook in everything later on then right over here where it's coming out of the wall just a little bit it's bulging out of the wall a little bit we're going to take out our regular white stained glass i'm going to break these blocks one two and three one two and three and then we're going to come in one with some right here as well there we go and then we're going to come over here to the front hand side and we're going to do the same thing with this one as well we're going to break out these three one two and three and one two and three with that glass as well and that's going to be the front windows for the house so now that we got the front glass done, we're going to come over here to the side and we're going to count over four blocks from here. One, two, three, four. And then on the fourth and fifth block, we're going to break them. One, two. Take out your stained glass panes. Once again, we're going to place in two right here. One, two. And that's and that's going to be the window for the shower stall. Now, I actually had people saying you have a window in your shower stall. Yeah, it's one of those fog ones you can't see through, but they don't have any like fog glass or anything like that in Minecraft. So I'm just using normal glass panes. Now from here, we're going to count over seven blocks. So one, two two three four five six and number seven and we're going to break out seven eight right here and then two more above them and place in four more glass panes like that so there is so starting from here we're going to count over four blocks one two three four and then the fourth and fifth block have glass and then from here we're going to count over seven one two three four five six seven seven and eight have glass panes and so do the two above them as well and then right over here on this corner we're going to make a three by three where we left uh, this little opening of glass so we're gonna go ahead and break out these three and place in a three by three spacing of white glass there we go boop 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 and boop 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 so it looks like something like that so this is this whole entire side of the house completely done now we're gonna go ahead and swing over to the backhand side of the house i'm gonna count in four blocks from here so count this one over here one two three four break out these four blocks so it's four blocks in one two three four we're gonna change these over to a stone slabs take out your white stained glass panes again and we're going to place in four right here this is actually supposed to be a moving door but there's no sliding doors inside of minecraft and i didn't want to use too much red i didn't want to use any redstone in this house so i went ahead and just used glass panes as the door then we're going to go ahead and swing over to the corner of this part of the house and we're going to break out these four blocks we're supposed to have another sliding glass door right here but i'm just going to be using glass panes once again so let's switch that over to slabs and then we're going to just place in two plant panes right here so we can go inside and outside of the house next up count in three blocks from this corner 
corner. One, two, three. Break out these four blocks. Change it over to some stone slabs once again. And then we're going to place in our glass panes here as well. Now we're going to swing over here to this side. And then right where it is coming out of the wall, we're going to dig out these blocks like that. And these two over here and these two over here. I'm going to switch these over to some glass. So this is going to be the window for the kitchen dining area. There we go. Then next up, just come over here to this corner and count in four blocks. One, two, three, four. Break out these four blocks like that. And I did not want to break this one. So four blocks in. One, two, three, four. And then break out these four. And then we're going to go ahead and place in some glass blocks. And that's going to be my room right there. And that is the whole back area done. So we can go ahead and move over here. And now we're going to count in 12 blocks from here for the next window. So one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve break the twelfth and thirteenth block and the two right above them and go ahead and place in some glass panes here that's going to be for the guest bedroom and then from here we're going to count over five blocks and then up one so one two three four five and then up one and this is going to be for the guest bathroom so as you can see there is the guest bathroom window right there so now we're going to go ahead and start up on all the walls inside a house now pretty much all the walls are going to be white stained clay or light gray stained clay. Pretty much every single wall is gonna be that. So we're gonna come into the front door of the house right here, and then starting right off the wall that's right here on the corner, we're just gonna count in four blocks with our white stained clay. So one, two, three, four, just like that. And then we're going to go in this way, eight blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we came in four blocks, one, two, three, four, and then we went that way with eight blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then we're gonna go back that way, four blocks, one, two, three, four, and then back in to the side of the wall. Now, just like the outside walls of the house, how we had to come up at least four blocks around the entire thing, we're gonna be coming up at least three blocks inside on every single wall. So we can go ahead and just bring this up two more times. So make sure you just come up three times around every single part of these walls now if you did the whole entire outline you're going to have a lot easier time if you did not do the outline you know just follow along when i'm counting so you make sure you don't miss anything so right there is going to be the wall for our hallway and part of our bathroom then we're going to swing over here to this side of the wall and we're just going to count in two blocks one two and then we're going to count over four so one two three four and then just up one and there's going to be and then we're just going to bring these up three blocks like so like that and that and then right here on this corner we're just going to come up three more blocks like this and you know what right here we're actually going to have a wall because right inside here is going to be my washing room area so we're going to go ahead and just fill in this entire thing with some white stained clay just like that and that's going to be for like i said the washing room area if you want to you can go ahead and add in the door so right here is going to be a door and right here is also going to be a door for the washing room area now, right over here, we're going to come out at least two more blocks off the side of here with our white stained clay like that, like that. And then same thing. We're just going to swing it back into the wall right there. There we go. And that is going to be the guest bathroom right there. And now we're going to swing back all the way around this area with white stained clay. So we're going to count from over here. Let's just go ahead and just line it up right with this wall right over here. We don't have to count at all. So just line it up right to the end right here. And like I said, we'll dig out all the doors later on. If you want to right now, you can go ahead and dig out a few doors. So right here is going to be a door for the bathroom. Right here is going to be a door for the guest bedroom. And then right here, there's also going to be another door inside the bathroom for the guest bedroom as well. So it kind of looks like this. It looks really weird, trust me. But once we get all the doors in and everything, we should be absolutely fine. And also right here is going to be a closet. This right here is going to be a closet. So if you want to, you can dig out these four blocks as well. That's going to be the closet area for right there. Next up, what we're going to do is just come out one block from where the door is. So come up three more white stained clay. And then we're going to come in three more blocks. So one, two, three bring those up three blocks like this there we go and then we're just going to swing back in here with more white stained clay and we're actually going to be breaking a few of these blocks i'm just making sure we don't get mixed up anywhere so right here we're actually going to be digging out these blocks right here this is actually going to be a walk-in area you know what actually i think this might only be two i'm going to go ahead and just put in yeah i think that's only two so make sure you have two away from this wall and this is actually just going to be part of the flooring so we can go ahead and get rid of that part right there and then over here of course we're going to have another little walk-in area right here to get inside of the kitchen so just count over three blocks, one, two, three, and then dig out these two right here. And that's going to be our little walk-in area for our kitchen. Then right over here for the guest bedroom, we're going to take out our lime stained clay. And we're going to come up three blocks right here with our lime stained clay. And we're going to fill in this entire area over. You know what? I should count it. Sorry, I just have my thing here, so I'm not used to doing it. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and then just swing it back into the wall like that. And then, like I said, just come up three blocks like this. There we go. There we go. We're going to wrap this all the way around down to here and filling in this entire area and then right up here we're just going to bring in one more line of white stained clay because you will be able to see this from the kitchen 
Now this is where it's gonna get a little bit weird for my room right here. We're just gonna count in seven blocks from the corner. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And now we're gonna fill in going that way with light gray stained clay. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And then we're gonna swing it back that way with the light gray stained clay. 